Welcome to Math with Mrs. Bibb. I want to do a few videos to help with this week's homework assignment for my students. These are also questions that you could see on the SAT. So great SAT practice questions. We'll do the first one. I'll make another video. I have three total to do. Here in the first one it says in a right triangle one angle measures x degrees where the cosine of x equals 24 over 25. What is the sine of 90 minus x? First of all, I want to talk about so ka toa. This is your little mnemonic that you use to remember the trig ratios. When I look at this, I have the cosine I have the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, the ratio of those. So I'm going to draw a triangle, a right triangle, obviously, and I'm gonna put X here and adjacent to X, here's adjacent, is 24 and the hypotenuse is 25. Now, Let's talk about this first, 90 minus x. If this is x degrees, where would 90 minus x be? Well, let's think for a moment. If this is 30 degrees, what's 90 minus 30? Well, that's 60, and that would be here. Um, if this is 20 degrees, what's 90 minus 20? That's 70, and that would be here, because 70 plus 20 plus 90 equals 180. So this is actually 90 minus x. And I want to find the sine of 90 minus x. Do I or do I not need to do the Pythagorean theorem? Well, let's see. Let's see if I have the opposite side and the hypotenuse. If I have those things, I don't need to do the Pythagorean theorem. So from this angle here, I have the opposite side, 24 is opposite, and I have the hypotenuse, which is 25. So I do have the sine of 90 minus x, and make sure you show your work for this, the sine of 90 minus x, and you're welcome to put opposite over hypotenuse, and then opposite, this is the measure of 24, and adjacent to this angle is the measure of 25, and I wrote 24. So my answer to this problem is 24 over 25. Hope that helps. Have a wonderful day.